Hello everybody, this is Gamergar and welcome back to another live stream. So I hope everyone is doing well and I hope you all had a great week. I had a super busy week myself. Let's have a look at the chat. So we have Re, hi Re, how are you? I hope you had a good week. We have Yuzuki, good evening to you too Yuzuki. We have Big, Big Baloo, am I saying that right? Big Baloo. <laughs> you finally managed to catch a stream. Huh, nice one. We'll have a nice relaxing Friday evening together. We also have Be Kind, Have Fun. Good evening to you too. And that is true. We should all be very kind. And we can have loads of fun in the process. <laughs> hey, we have Emma. Hey Emma, how are you? So today it's going to be our usual live stream. And this is the Perfection series, so we actually are going for perfection. And if you've watched the previous streams, you've probably noticed that I haven't actually done a lot of things to, to, you know, to get the ball rolling on perfection. So the tactic I'm probably going to use is that I'm going to get loads of money this year. And then in year two, I, I'm just going to steamroll all of the challenges. Because by the time year two comes around, I'd have prismatic shards. I'd probably have tons of rabbits. So I can give, you know, rabbits feet away to people or rabbits foots. <laughs> So let's get into the game. So we just started in summer, we're on day two at the moment. And just I just have to quickly refresh myself because I've been on so many farms this week, you know, with creating videos and everything. I have to remind myself what progress I've made on this one. So I have ooh, I have the skull key, and we also have access to the desert. So we can do Skull Cavern runs, but I won't be going to Skull Cavern just yet because I need to get some salads and some healables and things like that. I have level 6 fishing. Okay. I have a Crystallarium here that's generating jades for me. Staircases. Pickled tea leaves. Ooh, a storm is approaching. Okay. I like storms and rainy days in this game because it means I don't have to... Um, means I don't have to water stuff. <laughs> JD, love your content and way of playing Stardew. Won't be in it for long, but glad. Oh, well, thanks very much, JD, for coming along. I appreciate the support. And hello, Cathy. All is well with me, Cathy. I had a mad... I had a crazy week. It was one It was one of those weeks, Cathy. It was getting up early and going to bed late. Oh, that it was a good week, though. I suppose I better water these crops. So I've got melons. Ooh, and I also have star fruit. <laughs> Hi Abby, how are you? So I got a new desk uh, yesterday, or two days ago. Um, because the other desk I was using wasn't great. So I have a lot more leg room with this desk now. Um, so you've probably noticed I'm a bit more, I'm a bit more central of the camera. <laughs> so you can probably see the background there a little bit different. Um, all thanks to this new desk. This desk even has a, a cup holder. Which is pretty fancy. <laughs> I think it's fancy anyway. Building with the mods. Yeah, the mods are so addictive, aren't they? And I, I, I only really got into mods there uh, a few months ago. I've been playing the game for years, but there's, there's still one mod I really, really have to download. And I keep telling people I'm going to download it, I'm going to play it, and that's the Ringside Village mod. Um, so I, I really want to give that a go in, in a few days, once I get some time to give it a go. So I purposely didn't, I, I'm not trying to purchase a ton of crops because I don't want to spend hours every day watering them. Uh, and as we can see, I left lots of land uh, between each one, they're for quality sprinklers. So once I get farm level 6, I can just pop in the sprinklers there and we'll, we'll be good to go for the rest of the game once I get those quality sprinklers. If I want to, then I can go, I can go crazy on crops. So, 
what will I do? I mean, I could, I could do with some money. I only 300 gold. You know what? I'll store these away for now. Ooh, I've got four jades. Let's see. So it's 950. You know what? We might... We might try for the octopus. We might give the octopus a go. Yeah. We'll give it a go. Iron Mass Rod. What is to... Hello. You know what? I will use that. What's the melons? 11 days. 12. I'll use that on the peppers. All these ones. So I'm going to try for an octopus. I'm probably going to fail miserably, but it's one of the, in my opinion, it's one of the hardest fishes you can you can pull up out of the water, but because it's summer, we'll, we'll give it a go and see how we get on with it. I have caught it before um, without fishing buffs, so we'll, we'll try anyway. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> Hey, Bunker's busy. Glad you could make it. How was your week? So the heat wave has ended in Ireland, for the most part. Um, so I've been able to get much, much better night sleeps. on my headset. <laughs> Ooh, Elvis jewelry. And Gunter up too, so he would be a happy man. So I'm making a video at the moment, and I don't know if it will be ready for Sunday or not. I have the foot, I have the footage done, and I have a lot of the editing done. All that's left is the voiceover, but it's going to be one of those videos where the voiceover is going to be very hard to do. So I'm probably going to have to potentially script it a bit, but it's going to be it's going to be a, a, a little bit different. It's basically a challenge video. And in the video, I'm going to address all of the YouTube Stardew Valley content creators and challenge them to make a similar video. And if they do, they can put a link of their video into the comments of the video I made and we can see who more or less got the highest score. Now, it's not Junimo Kart or anything like that. Um, and it, and it's, it's not like a 100 day challenge or anything. So, you you know, you'll be able to do it. If you, if you give yourself a few hours, you'd, you'd probably be able to do it. Um, so just to let you know that that may be coming Sunday and I think it's going to be quite the watch so it took me a few goes um, I had to scrap the first um, I had I had to scrap the first set of footage because I wasn't happy with the result I got in the end so I started all over again it took, which took me another day to do but I think it was worth it because I did a way better attempt the second time So if you know any Stardew Valley content creators, maybe just say to them that there's, a, that there's a challenge going around. And it would be very interesting to see what what they can do with the challenge. How well, how well they can do with it. So I think this is our octopus. Come on now, octopus. Or maybe it's a sunfish. Or no, not a sunfish. Uh, a pufferfish. Could be a pufferfish. At this rate, we may never know what it is. 
Oh. <laughs> Yay. Oh, uh, anyway, I knew. I knew it was too good to be true. I knew it was too good to be true. But I think we need the puffer fish for the community center bundle anyway. Let's hope it takes off Easy Lily's Volcano Challenge and Shawnee Jew's Skull Cavern Challenge. It is... kind of similar. But there's... There's a lot, there's a lot more in it. you see Sunday. I, th I think it's going to be good. <laughs> I'm excited for it. And I don't say that about too many videos, but I'm excited for this one. So I just seem to be getting red mullets at the moment. I might... I wonder can I get that crimson fish with the fishing level I have at the moment. Yeah, if you have time ammo, you could give it a go yourself. Um, but it's one of those things now where you'd need a, you'd need a bit of time for it, you know? So, with the way the channel is going, I, I think I might have 3,000 subs in the next few days. Maybe maybe Sunday or maybe Tuesday. Maybe Thursday, who knows? <laughs> oh my... Right, you know what? I'm going to come back and try to get that legendary fish later on when I have more stuff because... That was just, um... That was, that was a bit embarrassing. <laughs> Oh. So, I, what did I get? I got the puffer fish. That goes into the fishing bundle. That's grand. I can sell that. The yeah, arrow, but that one... That one uh, isn't too bad. I'll tell you what's, I'll tell you what's going to be great fun, and that is the, um, the legend when we come around to next year to try to cap capture it. Hot pepper. I don't know if I'll have one in time, but why not? So I'm gonna have a quick scurry around the map for forge builds. I rarely see Demetrius down here. What's up, Demetrius? Make sure you water your plants every day. Oh, that is legendary advice. Thanks so much, Demetrius. <laughs> At least he called them plants and he didn't call them specimens. Oh, oh, that's right, Reed. The glacier fish is up there with the legend. They're both extremely hard. I mean, I, I think they're both definitely a few notches above the rest of the legendary fish. I think the easiest one is the angler, maybe, that you can get in fall. Spiceberry, sweet pea. Just gotta find the grape. And while I'm passing, I'm just gonna scoot in here to see what we have. Ooh, we have lots of gold bars. Ooh, 106 iron ores. Oh, I have to call down in the other place. Okay. Right, I'm getting more familiar now. I just remember that I unlocked the minecarts, so we do have fast travel. I 
I will sell that. Dress spinner. Ah, I'm just gonna sell that. <laughs> Has Demetrius come to our farm yet? Oh, he has. Oh, he's like the mushrooms. This is what happens when you don't play on a farm for a week. That's right, Ree. But I actually have the UI info suite mod as well, so it tells you if you're needed for a bundle, which is really handy. I just have to get into the habit of looking at it more. There's no forgeables up here. Let's go down. Feeling lucky. We'll go down to Cindersap Forest. We'll have a look down there. So I was playing... I was playing a new game this week. What happened was... I was watching Evolution playing it. Uh, she was playing a game. Um, what was it called again? Cult of Cult of the was it is a cult of the lamb, is it? And I've been playing it a couple of nights now, but it's such a great game. <laughs> I'm really enjoying it. That's it, Emma, yeah. Cult Cult of the Lamb. It's a great game. Now, I've played it a few times. I actually haven't played it there yesterday because I was busy making videos and stuff, but I might give it a go tomorrow night, maybe. And I actually got to the second boss, but I died, and all my cultists died. Um, they died of starvation. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm not the... I'm not the I'm not the best when it comes to uh, managing the little village with the cultists. You know they don't like me very much. <laughs> no grapes. No grapes today. We'll surely get a grape tomorrow. Because if I hand in those three things at the community centre, I'll get back something like 20, 20 wild summer seeds. So we can start our little foraging farm again to get up the foraging skill. There's a mod to reskin Krobus as the lamb. Oh, I, I, I need to look into that one. <laughs> That's hilarious. Right, I believe I also have the tea sapling recipe. I just sell those. So Gunter could tell me about that. And there. So all of my artifacts and things I need for a community centre can just go into this chest. Hello. Yandeli Wang. Whatever suits yourself, you can call me Gamer Gar. You can call me Gar. No problem. Barmy plus two. Okay, that's good to know. Right, I'm going to go to sleep early to replenish my energy. Ah, uh, we have bits and bobbins. Welcome in. Veronica, hello. Cult of the Lamb. Thanks, Veronica. So I've played it twice, and I have... I, I get good vibes when I play it, so I'll definitely keep playing it until I clear it. And I'm playing it on medium mode at the moment. I was going to put it on easy mode, but I, I put it on medium. Um, just because the developers recommend you put it on medium, but it's actually what I find really hard about the game is that it sometimes it can be hard to get health back when you lose a couple of hearts. Mayor Lewis lost his lucky purple shorts.
4,000 gold. No, not yet. I'll wait, for, I'll wait for the next backpack upgrade. Because it's a rainy day, I don't have to water my crops, which is great. Oh, field research bundle. Winter foraging bundle. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna start upgrading tools. I'm gonna start upgrading my axe, so I can get into the secret woods. Where do I put that coal? There it is. <laughs> Why Lewis needs truffle oil? <laughs> That's it. You know, I I should really do a video on Lewis. You know about, like, what you know, one of those um. Oh, what are they called? Ice, iceberg videos. You know, Mayor Lewis, friend or foe. Because the more you play the game, there's so many Easter eggs in the game where he's always up to something naughty. Because you find him behind the bushes. You have the whole quest with these lucky purple shorts. Then you have the Mary Lewis Golden Statue, of course, and you have the secret events with that. <laughs> oh, thanks. The mod is... There's a couple of mods. There's a recoloring mod. There's a texture pack mod. I think I have it in the description of this stream. If not, I will add it to the description when the stream is over. Uh, but there's a few mods that, um, that play into the decoration of this... Uh, this file. I'm pretty sure they're in the description. I just want one grape and I'll be happy. I actually didn't know that the mushrooms respawn every single day. Ooh, nice, a purple mushroom. But it's just a regular purple mushroom. It's still nice, though. It gives it a lot of energy. I'll save that one. I'll sell the rest of it. I suppose we'll go to Clint. We'll get him to upgrade this axe of ours. Great, thanks Clint. Lin Linus has got serious competition. Hi Debra, how are you? So we're going to go with the copper axe. Oh, fantastic, I forgot my copper bars. I'm so forgetful when I'm doing these streams. I'm going to use the same excuse I use every week. I was up early. It's been a long week. I'm tired. But there is your excuse for the for uh, this evening, folks. If I uh, start forgetting things later on. Now, Clint, I have your bars. Upgrade my axe. Thanks, Clint.
You took the kids to Cumbria and went on a rowboat. Oh, nice. Sounds like I had some fun. But Orchid is getting taller by the day. So she can almost reach door handles now. So in a week or two, that's going to be great fun. And she's fascinated, you know, with the door handles. She tries very hard to get her hands on that handle and to open up that door. And explore the house. And the, and the outside of the house. The great beyond. <laughs> I know, yeah. It, it, it's so it's, it's hilarious. And what's even funnier is that when he, when he takes the bonus statue back, sometimes it's in Marnie's bedroom, and it's not in his bedroom. <laughs> ah, it's okay, Veronica. No hassle. Is this a pike? Yeah, right, so that's the pike. That's the shed, so I have those. So I'm gonna try my best to get most of the fish this year for the fishing collection. So because it's raining, I think I can get the red snapper. So we'll do that now and get that one out of the way. Screw some all handles to a plank. Hours of fun. That's a magnificent idea. <laughs> we, we might try that. <laughs> that's, a, that's a great idea, bits and bobbins. <laughs> So we want the red snapper, we want tilapia, and we want the super cucumber. Now I, I don't think we'll get the super cucumber until the evening time, but we might get the others. Oh nice, there's the red snapper. You know, there's one fish I always forget in summer. It's called the, uh, is it? It's either called the Doroda or the Dorado. And it, it's rare enough to get in the Simrasap forest and it's, it's, I always forget it. But I'm not gonna forget it this time. <laughs> Thanks, Reed, the Dorado, yeah. I think the main reason being it's in Simrasap forest and I rarely go there to fish. Normally if I fish it's up in the lake. Or it's down at the beach here. Mm -hmm. Hi, Fairy Armor. How was your week? Thanks for dropping in. So we're on day three now at the moment. We got a rainy day. And I just fished up the red snapper. Ooh, nice, there's another red snapper. So I actually need that for ocean fish. One of those weeks, I had a busy week too. It was one of those weeks. But we did watch, we did watch a show on Netflix called The Sandman. And, oh, we really enjoyed it. Magnificent show. So I don't know if it's finished or if they're going to release more episodes for it. Uh, but I hope they release more episodes for it because it's, re it's a really good watch. So that's what that's what we watched this week. So I suppose the tactic for summer, the general ta the general strategy for me, would be to upgrade my pickaxe to at least a steel pickaxe. 
Uh, buy a couple of salads off Gus. I have rubies tucked away so I can get spicy eels. Go into the Skull Cavern. If I get down to floor 25, um, Mr. Key will send me 10,000 gold in the mail. And that would be a, that would be real nice to get. So we might look at Skull Cavern soon. Oh no, so close to quad XP. If I got the perfect and the treasure chest, I would have got four times the XP for that fish. Oh cool, there's comics of it. Didn't know there were comics at all. Oh, brilliant, other platforms. Oh, I missed that one. It's a great show, though. Magnificent actors and actresses. What I probably would have done now at this stage was I would have went to the secret woods and I would have got catfish because it's raining. But I don't have a steel axe, so I can't get in there. The audible versions are really good too. Ah, right. I might look into that because I'm, I really enjoyed the first few episodes. I think there's 10 or 11 episodes in it at the moment on Netflix. The one thing that I'm not going to watch... I'm not even going to look at the trailers until the first season is fully finished. Is that new, um... Oh, that, that new Game of Thrones, um, series. House of the Dragon. So what I normally do with those... What I normally do with those is... I, I literally don't watch any of the episodes. And once the season finishes, I'll then download the whole season. And... I'll watch the whole thing in the space of one or two days. Maybe three days. Depending on how much time I have. That way, I don't have to wait around if there's a cliffhanger or anything like that. I can just breeze straight into the next episode and watch it. <laughs> um, I did it with Game of Thrones, all, you know, back in the day when the Game of Thrones series came out. I waited for the whole series to finish, or the season to finish. Then I just sat down and binged it. <laughs> so that's my plan for that House of the Dragon show. So my expectations aren't high for it, because, you know, I, I really don't want to be disappointed, because it's very hard to live up to the standards of Game of Thrones, in my opinion, you know, it was such a great show. So I'm going to go into it with, with an open mind. The Umbrella, Umbrella Academy is something that I actually haven't watched. I think I gave the first season a go. I could have watched a few episodes and then I just stopped watching it. And that happens with me. With, that happens with me for so many shows. Oh no. Those super cucumbers sell for a lot of money. Oh, I just realized there's bubbles over there. Take advantage of those bubbles. The pre Lord of the Rings series. Oh yeah. Now that that's something I look forward to as well. I mean I thought the Hobbit movies were great. I thought the Lord of the Ring movies were fantastic. So I, I think the series would be really good as well. Yellowstone is pretty good. Never heard of that one. Is that a series? Oh. The pre-Lord of the Rings series about... Not too sure, Veronica, but... 
I might be wrong now, but I think I heard that it might be about the original rings that were created. Something around the original rings. You know, before the big, the big bad ring came into play. But I could be totally wrong. <laughs> but I, I think I heard something about the, about the original rings. Ooh, I fished in the wrong direction. <laughs> Old school Star Trek. Never really watched Star Trek. But I suppose when it comes to when it comes to series and stuff, I can be very picky. Um, what was the other one? What was the other one? Star Wars. That that's something. I watched it back in the day. I watched the the original three, and I watched episode four, five, and six, or something like that. Then I stopped watching it, and I think I tried one of them there one or two years ago. Ooh, another garbage hat for me. That's the second garbage hat. I've got two garbage hats now. <laughs> Right, I think I looked all around here for grapes, didn't I? There's no grapes around. You know, since I'm super lucky, let me just see. Let me just see if I can fish up the um, the garbage can from, from the uh, the fountain here. <laughs> I'll do that, bits and bobbins. I'll keep one for the horse. No, it will. Tr you know what? We'll go for all those those uh, special items later on. Oh, Ronnie, when you said superheroes, you reminded me of another show I watched recently. It's called The Boys, and I I think it's one of the best superhero shows out there. It's just brilliant. Right. Well, I, you know what? I'm going to keep the seaweed because seaweed occasionally pops up in quests and things like that. But we'll put the red snapper into our little bundle there. Put the hat in there as well. Why am I keeping a crab? I don't know. I'd sell it. I'd sell that. Can't I get into bed? Oh, I think my cat was blocking me. <laughs> Wilwyn, how are you? Thanks for joining. How was your week? That's it. You, you can play this game for years and years and not get certain events to trigger. You know, you can start a new file and you can get the garbage hat on the first day. I got the living hat on the first day once in a, in a file. I was just hoeing away, I was scything away all the weeds in my farm and pop out of nowhere the, the living hat, the rarest hat in the game. So we get fishing level 7 today, which is really nice. So we're, we're on our way to level 10 fishing. And 3000 gold there from the fish. The super cucumber is real nice, 468 gold for a gold star super cucumber. So it's always nice getting those. <clears throat> so we're on day four at the moment. Oh my goodness, another rainy day. I'm just poxed with luck. 
So another day where I don't have to water crops. I'm, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> I am very happy about that. I suppose we go up to the lake today and do a bit of fishing. Can I get this... Can I get the sturgeon? Or is it the walleye? I know it's one of them I can fish up. Ooh, another purple mushroom. I, I remember that. Was that the co-op? I think we were playing co-op that day, were we? And you told me you got the living hat, but we didn't know how rare it was at the time. We didn't throw that we didn't throw it away, did we? I've I've thrown stuff away in this game that apparently was super rare, but I didn't know it was super rare. And I just I just thrown it away. <laughs> because I didn't see the value in it. It's the same when I got that pirate's hat in the volcano cave. I thought it was common at the time, I threw it away. Then I watched the video and I realized it was super rare. <laughs> the living hat in your perfection farm. Hmm. Where did I get the last living hat? I got it from the weeds just outside Leo's house over on Ginger Island. That's the last place I got a living hat. Actually, here's one. You know the way you can you can get fibre seeds off Linus? You can, you can grow them up out of the ground so you can harvest loads of fibre. Can you get the living hat that way as well from fibre seeds that you plant? Or does it have to be from natural fiber that grows on its own. I wonder. I love the sound of thunder in this game, it's so relaxing. No auto penners, Ranica. I I I seem to get them all the time. But you know, one of the great advantages of going to Georgia Road is that you can buy an auto petter, I think, for 50,000 gold when you complete all the Georgia bundles. That's one of the huge advantages that Georgia Road has over the community centre road, because you can purchase auto petters. Now, I know at the start you might say to yourself, 50,000 gold, that's a lot of money. But, if, but I mean, eventually you reach a stage in the game where 50,000 gold is just pennies, you know? You get it from one day of processing stuff. You got it from a, a green slime in a secret forest. Oh, that's amazing. I didn't even know green slimes could drop the living hat. Oh, thanks, bunkers. And, and, I, and I had a great idea for a video. See, you, you saved me from making a video on if you could get the living hat from fiber seeds. <laughs> it basically would have been a farm with just fiber growing out of the ground. You could call it a fiber farm. <laughs> Imagine, I played a hundred days of Stardew Valley, but I could only sell fiber. I think that would be a bit boring. Because the game has limited fiber resources. You know, you think there's a lot at the start, but there isn't. If you're if you run around with your sight, you'd actually get most of it within I'd say one or two days. You know, if you were if you were looking to get uh, lots of fiber to make tea saplings or something like that, you know. Oh, there we go. That is the sturgeon. Do I need that for anything? I do. I need that for the lake fish bundle. So that is the sturgeon. That. 
which is good for us. So I have 5,000 gold. I have decided that once Clint finishes with the copper pickaxe upgrade, I'm going to give him five iron bars and we're going to upgrade it to the next tier straight away so we can get into the secret woods and we can start getting our hands on better resources, especially hardwood and things like that. So the reason why I'm, I'm kind of processing these bars now is that once I reach farm level 6, I can make quality sprinklers more or less straight away. So that is the tactic. So I'll take five of those. Isaac, hello! Hi here, and Brazil just wanted to say hi. Just passing by so you don't forget us. Hi Isaac! I believe you said, I believe you, you put the exact same comment into a video one or two weeks ago. Twice. <laughs> the exact same comment. So Isaac, tell me. Are you a bot or are you an actual person? I'm very curious. When it comes to um, when it comes to comments, I have a great memory because I love reading the comments I get from people when I make a video. Ah, you're a real person. <laughs> How's Brazil these days? Is it hot? Is it hot over in Brazil all the time, or do you get winters over there? Look at all these trees, they're just begging to be cut down, and we will cut down all those trees very soon. Once we get our lovely steel axe, we're going to go on a major wood gathering spree. Because we're going to need tons of wood for stuff. I also need to get a coop off Robin, and I need to get a... I need to get a white chicken, and I need to get a brown chicken. Yeah, the hat mouse is cool, isn't he, Ree? I like I like what the texture pack does to him. Or to her. <laughs> so this game has given me everything except grapes. Ooh, Veronica, that is an amazing tip. I didn't know that. I thought once you started the you know the gauntlet for either the community center or the uh, or the, the Georgia Georgia company that was it you were tied into that one oh I already checked these so there's no grapes around the place well that's okay. It's only the start of summer after all. Now, sometimes there is a very sneaky forgeable over here. There is a sneaky forgeable, but it's the sweet pea, unfortunately. You went on a cake making spree. <laughs> That's it. It happens to me all the time. I end up with thousands of wood. And I think to myself, sure I never need wood again. And after doing a few building upgrades, and after making, you know, maybe maybe 20 or 50 kegs, or if you make loads of preserve jars, you've suddenly, re suddenly, and it pops out of nowhere, 
you've no wood left and you desperately need wood very fast <laughs> and the trees just they just don't grow fast enough so I suppose we'll do a bit more fishing today to get more money and it's 5.40 so we'll try for a few super cucumbers let's also check the quest board Ooh, Maru is offered 750 gold for a gold bar. I will absolutely do that quest. Oh, wood chippers are amazing. Especially if you start putting down mahogany seeds and you start, you know, you make a little, you make a little mahogany farm. Yeah, it's it's it, it actually is worth it to go to Robin and purchase stone and wood off her in year one because it's so cheap. I did a challenge once and I needed um what did I need I need I needed a hundred staircases. So I spent I spent money until I had enough stone to make a hundred staircases. I think it was to do a Mr. Key quest on Ginger Island. I think I think you had to get down to floor a hundred without um without eating any food or using any sort of consumables. That's what I did. Be kind, have fun. You just reminded me. I need I need to make um, tappers and I need to start producing oak resins for kegs. Now, if I don't get it done in summer, it's not the end of the world because I can always fall back on tea saplings if I'm really stuck for money. I will get a grape eventually. <laughs> Hopefully tomorrow. So I believe there's a few people playing that... Um, of the land game at the moment. But I think my favourite game of all time is still Hollow Knight. I absolutely love that game. And when I first created this channel, I was going towards a, a Hollow Knight channel. Uh, but then Stardew Valley took over. But originally, when I when I made this channel, my my original intentions was to just play Hollow Knight and get into the whole um, just get into the whole speed running and all the Hollow Knight challenges, as hard as they are. <laughs> Yeah, but when I was playing Cult of the Lamry, it's a good game, but I don't get I don't get the great vibes from it. Now maybe it gets better as you play it, but I, I mean it's good. You know, is is it is it on the level of Stardew Valley? Absolutely not. But saying that, I've only made it the second boss. You know, so I haven't played enough of it to give it a fair evaluation. I personally think it would be a much better game if you could choose your weapons um, before you go into the dungeon because sometimes it gives you an option of weapons and you might not like to use those weapons. Yeah, that's it, Will Win. The stairs are expensive to craft, but the thing about the gems are. You can get your hands on some items and they're just they trivialized the game. What is one of the most overpowered items you can get using key gems? Take a look at the key to the city. At first you think to yourself, oh I can I can get into any of these vendors anytime I want, but Marnie becomes a lot more accessible when you have the key to the city. 
you know, you can get you can go into Clinton early hours, you can get into Pierre. Oh, a bit. <laughs> oh, I'm on a bit. You've used your last piece of bait. Yeah, the desert is a great place for tapper. The desert's also a great place for solar panels. And the quarry is also a great place for um, a tree farm or a tapper farm or both. Hundred and fifteen XP for that. Oh, I'm getting loads of goodies here now. Hey, Willy. Another nice relaxing day done. Yeah, to, to be fair, Will, when most of the items you can get from the key gems are, are pretty good. You know those green Junimo chests, the way you can link them all up together? They're, they're, just, they're so handy. Oh, I need a chub for field research. Okay. I can sell that. I'll just sell those. Let's have a look. Okay. Ocean fish. Field research. Lake fish. So, a lot more fishies there. They can veggie, they can drop galaxy souls, but it's it's uh, it's rare enough. It, it's happened to me a few times. I, I believe they can also drop prismatic shards as well. And they can also drop key gems. Now, you, you won't get a whole lot of key gems, but they can drop key gems. Five, six, seven, eleven, twelve. I have, I have fourteen sweet peas and not one grape. Can you believe this? I need to get myself a grape. So that is another dead down, and we we get nice money from the fish. Twenty seven hundred gold today. That's right, Veronica. You can also buy galaxy swords. I think you can trade them in. I think you need radioactive bars. And I believe it is... Is it 10 radioactive bars for one galaxy soul? But you can trade in as many... You can get as... Oh my god. An, another rainy day. <laughs> okay. But yeah, you can get as many galaxy souls as you want. As long as you have the radioactive bars to trade. Is that three rainy days in a row? What is going on here? This has never happened to me. Ever. You know, it's unfortunate that this, is, that this isn't that this is the 100-day challenge. Or some sort of a summer challenge. Because I'd be... Oh. <laughs> I'd be setting some world records. <laughs> That's right, Will Win. You just go to the first floor... In and out, in and out, um, until you have loads of radioactive ores. But you know, I think is it if you have maxed out mining, you have the blacksmith park. Is it five thousand gold? 
you get for one radioactive bar. It's something. It's something like that anyway. You get cr you get crazy money for radioactive bars. It's a great way to make money in the late game. It is with perfect for the chill stream. <laughs> Right, I am going to look all over the place today to find a grape. Copper axe is finished. Okay, well I have the iron bars. There might be a grape down here. Ooh, I walked out onto the beach. That's handy. Let's use it. Let's go to the beach. <laughs> oh, it's 4,500 gold to pop. Yeah. Big money. So today is Friday. Let's get all the forgeables today. There's the old mariner, but we're not getting married yet. So we've no use for him at the moment. It's great scenery. <laughs> I'm really liking this scene at the moment. But I believe this is the last rainy day because if we look at the info suite over here, I don't see the icon for um, for a rainy day tomorrow. But we got three rainy days in a row, so I don't think we can complain. <laughs> All we need now is just one little grape and I'll be a very happy person by a grape plant oh wait is it a grape or a blackberry I want blackberry. <laughs> Maybe the traveling cart um, vendor will have it. Ooh, she has an iridium or strawberry, a pumpkin. I will get the rare seed. What does a bruschetta do? Nothing. Porch. The rare seeds are always worth it because you can stock up on rare seeds, plant them in fall, and make a real nice profit at the end. You can also give one into the statue as well for uh, for the nice um, star drop. So, so no grapes. Well, it could be worse. I could have the water crops. <laughs> Speaking of watering crops, actually no, I'm not going to say any more about that. Did I go up here? I think I checked here already. Yeah, there's no, there's no grapes up here. There's no grapes anywhere. Hey, Scruggalogs, how are you? 
thanks for jumping in. I've actually been watching a few of your videos and they're so relaxing. I love them. And what, I, what I've done now is um, I've put on your videos while I've been making videos of my own just, just to kind of listen to it. Because um, they're real nice. So thank you for your lovely, relaxing Stardew Valley videos. The more common in the, the backwoods and the mountains, yeah. They're just not common for us at the moment. Oh my goodness, look at that. I have twelve I have nine melon seeds, I haven't used them. And a starfruit seed. I can move that later. Yeah, I can get away with that. No. There we go. I suppose we go to Clint before he closes and get that axe upgraded. The, you know you know what's happening, Bits and Bobbins? I got bread out of a trash can and now Linus is angry, so he's running around and he's making it his mission to make sure that we don't get grapes. <laughs> Thank you very much, Clint, for my copper axe, but you can have it straight back, and you can upgrade it to a steel axe. There we go. Thank you, Clint. Chopping trees, Scruggle Oaks. The, st the, st the story of my life, chopping down trees. Although I haven't cut down too many trees yet on this stream, but when I get that steel axe, we're going to be going on a... We're going to be going on a wood adventure. <laughs> a trash braid. Right. I suppose we'll do more fishing to get more money. While well, we're waiting for that axe. We'll fish over we'll fish over here for this evening. We'll get some more super cucumbers. Hi, vegan. How are you? Thanks. Ooh, what's this? Just a red mullet. Yeah, that's the thing, vegan. Though I was say I was saying it to other people. Mods can be very addictive. You know, once you. Once you kind of install a few mods, you start playing around with them, you suddenly want more and more mods. That's what happened to me anyway. <laughs> and the great thing about Stardew Valley is that there's literally thousands of mods. There's thousands of them. Mullets of all colours were popular in the 80s. 
Were they? Cool. The ocean is more profitable than the lake in summer. From my own experience, of course. <laughs> but you can't deny the money you get from super cucumbers. And if you were really good at fishing and you were able to bag yourself some some octopuses in the morning time, you know, they sell for quite a lot of gold too, but they're super hard. I mean, you want to be tackling those with level 10 fishing, a trap bobber and, and a few other things to make those manageable, you know? Our first bot of the stream... Oh, that's the same one as last week. I wonder how much money people make from bots. Oh, is it a joke, Lee? I don't, I don't get the joke if it was a joke. <laughs> Sometimes I can be really bad for things like that, you know? Sometimes my wife has to kind of explain it to me afterwards. So my, my wife will say something like, Ah, Gar, that was actually a joke. This is what it means. <laughs> an ugly, an ugly hairstyle. Oh yeah, yeah, mullet. Well... I suppose it's one of those things where some people could think they're lovely, other people could think they're not so nice. So you obviously think they're they're ugly. <laughs> but but it's one of those things too where for all we know, six months from now or a year from now, uh, mullets could be the fashion, and everyone. Everyone might want to go and get a mullet. You just you just don't know the way things are going, you know? What's going to be in fashion and what's not going to be in fashion. Yeah, well, well maybe the bots just want to come into the stream. That's, that's the bot's way of saying hi. And then it just wants to relax because it doesn't know anything else. Yeah, our, our little one has a small little mullet at the moment. <laughs> and every time we tie up her hair, she, she um, you know, uh, the effort that goes into it, so she just pulls out the go-go. Yeah, I, li I like this, I like the sound of that, bots that are fans. But we're still going to ban them. We're still going to ban them if they come in. <laughs> I might regret saying that in, uh, in, in a few decades, you know? You were mean to bots. You need to apologize. So maybe 10 or 20 years from now I'll be making a video apologizing to the bad things I said about bots. Treasure chest. Oh, you reminded me of that movie with Will Smith. And he hates the robots in the movie. Oh, what's it called? I can't think of the name, but it, it's, uh, it's a movie where the robots gain self awareness and. Will Smith teams up with a robot to, to, to stop a huge takeover. No, it's not I Am Legend. I Am Legend is where I think he's trying to cure zombies or something, right? And you get to cure at the end. Oh, that's the one. I, Robot. Yeah, that's it. It's a really old movie. It actually makes me feel old when I think about it. But yeah, I, Robot. <laughs> It's been a long time since I've seen it. That reminds me of another movie. What was it called? Was it Bicentinian Man? 
Um, Robin Williams starts off as a robot and he becomes a, a human at the end of it. Uh, Will, Will Smith's a great actor though, in all fairness. He's, he's one of the greats. Eleven forty. We'll we'll pull up one more fish, and maybe we can get some money together to upgrade the pickaxe next to a steel pickaxe. Right, we'll head home. We'll head home after a good relaxing day of fishing. What does Willie have to say? If you really want to get the fish biting, make sure you put some bait on your hook. Oh, Willie. I suppose it's good It's good advice for someone that's new to the game. So, the big question is... Are we going to get our grape tomorrow? Will tomorrow be the day that we get our grip? So that is another day done. Let's see how much we get from the fishing today. Ah, it's, it's not bad. 3,700 gold from the fish. I think the most I ever made from fishing in one day was 20,000 gold. Not including a legendary catch. It was just one of those days where I, I, I had um, a puddle. Or I, I had, you know, I had the uh, the bubbles, and I, I literally had them for the whole day. I was just pulling up fish like there was no tomorrow. Where did that go? This one. Right, I suppose we'd water these. Oh. Oh, that's right. I, I have scythe harvesting enabled. Okay, where's the scythe? Where I put my sight? It's probably up in the mines. I'm just going to turn it off. There we go. Oh, I think we've lost a crop. I think that one has died on us. So we have five days for the melons, and we have eight days for the star fruit. So what I'm hoping for is that when I harvest the crops, you know I'm going to get that level six in farming, and I can make those lovely quality sprinklers. And once the sprinklers are made, if we want to, we can we can then start heavily investing in crops. Because it's not going to take up our, our time to water them, you know? Sprinklers will do that. Uh, thus, you know, we'll, we'll start the whole automation process. Now, I can't complete the community center this year because I never selected the option for the red cabbage. So, I'm not in any rush to get animals at the moment. 
there isn't a there isn't a huge rush for that yet. Only two people at Tomer Glasses, yet you fish up broken glasses regularly. <laughs> oh, really? That's a great theory. So who wears glasses? I believe Harvey wears glasses. And... Is it Maru? Is it Harvey and Maru? Pierre wears glasses. Oh, I already watered that one. Oh, I need the I need the hot pepper for the summer crap. Okay, that explains why I was growing hot peppers in the first place. So let's put that in there. We just said that one. One day for the axe. Okay, I have 5,000 gold so I can get the pickaxe upgrade straight away. So we are on the lookout for a grape. Yeah, well, Morris, he's not really part of the main Stardew Valley cast, is he? Because he doesn't walk around like everyone else. He hides in his Georgia Mart. <laughs> if we include Morris, four people. Hello there. We have finally found our grape. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> oh, we are going to complete the Summer Farge bundle right now. Oh, yeah. The, oh, the bat house opened up. There might be something up. There might be some Farge up here. So I'm gonna get all this lovely fiber. We're not we're not we're not gonna say no to all this lovely fiber. Yeah, the bathhouse looks cool, doesn't it? I, I love this texture pack, it's really nice. You know, it, it, it basically puts a a fresh a, a fresh coat on the game. Oh, Emma, house chores, we, we can't escape them, unfortunately. 
you know, our house, Emma, is one of those houses where it doesn't matter how much cleaning you do. We just... It's so hard to keep it clean. <laughs> Especially when you have a little hurricane going around the place, you know? A little mini hurricane. So that is the spice berry. And we give that to Gunther. So put that in there. So I'm going to get, I think I'm going to get 20 wild spring. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all I need for the summer forage button because there's only three summer forage berries you can get. So we're going to put this into the lovely community center and that is going to be another bundle completed. <laughs> Children's toys are not dirt. No, that's the crops. Down here to this one. Do 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 do. Summer. Yay! There we go. Another bundle done. Ooh, I got thirty summer seeds. What's the exotic bundle? I can get those. That's one, two. And oh yeah, I could do it easy enough. I could do that one. Oh yeah. That's an easy room anyway. The, cha the challenge is going to be the billboard. So let's go back to the farm and we'll plant these. Oh no, did I miss that quest? Oh. I missed out on 750 gold because Mario wanted a gold bar and I totally forgot about it. That's true, Ree. Where can you make a mess? <laughs> that is very true. So I suppose I'll make another patch here. to watch my energy. I'll just eat some of these. Yeah, Megan, it, it is a lovely mod, I have to say. We were going to use another one. It was kind of a toss-up between this one and another uh, texture pack, but we decided to go with this one. Where's my pickaxe? I have to fix this now. Is that right? No. There we go. <laughs> oh. Oh, 
God, please give me sprinklers soon. So this is, I, I probably won't bother putting down any more forage than this because I think, I feel like it would just, it would just be too much watering then. And because it's a nice relaxing run, we, you know, we won't abuse the tea saplings. Like how I, like how I abused them in other videos. <laughs> My farming, it's level, I think it's level four. It's level 4. So I need two more levels. Right, there's all our lovely crops done. I have some mix. You know what? I'll save the mix seeds. I might use them in fall or something. I have 20. Whoa, I have 22 mix seeds. You know what? I'm going to keep them and I'll use them to make fiber seeds in winter instead. Yeah, that would be much better. Well, there's no point going to bed just yet, but Clint has my axe. Ooh, I know what to do. I feel like we'd be wasting a day if I went to bed now. So I was in a skull cavern today, and I hit open a crate, and uh, a lucky ring popped out, <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Hey Vice, how are you? Thanks for jumping on in. How goes, how goes the Stardew Valley, Valley channel? Actually, I'll get this one. They're nice, you know, they give a lot of stone. No, we're not trying to fish up the ores, we need to mine them. Mines is not a bad place to farm fiber if you really need fiber. I suppose we'd head home. It was a nice adventure though. <laughs> Ooh, you got to see your brother, it's a nice one. Yeah, I got a brother over in America I, 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 and he, he calls over here every couple of years. 
So it's nice when he calls over. But at least we at least we have Skype and Viber and things like that, you know, so it's not too bad. I suppose I can send those. So that's another day down. I feel like we're getting through summer a lot faster than we're getting through spring. It feels like it's going faster, which is good. So we didn't make a whole lot of gold today, but that's okay. At least we got our hands on the grape and we got our hands on some nice summer forage with us. So it's Sunday, let's have a look at the Queen of Sauce today. Baked fish, lovely. Our axe is ready. What are these poppies? So I need one poppy for the chef's bundle. So we're going to put that poppy right in there. And we'll sell that one. So there's one day left on the sunflower. And there's four days left on some of those melons. Oh, watering crops. We'll pet the cash. <laughs> if only cats could use watering cans. You know, there's probably a mod that you can get where your animals can use watering cans. If there isn't, it would be so cool if someone made a mod where your animal could maybe go around with the watering can in its mouth and just... <laughs> Just dip its head a little bit and water the crops for you. <laughs> yeah, you could do that as well. <laughs> I love the way the cat just sleeps anywhere on your farm you know it just spreads its arms and legs and it, and it just it just goes straight into deep sleep mode Energy. My energy is pretty bad at the moment. That's it. It's on four. Okay. Uh, we'll just pop into our lovely mushroom cave and grab a couple of mushrooms. And we'll be great. International Dog Day to people who love dogs. We have a lovely dog. His name's Chuck. Oh, I'm just reading the comment now.
Uh, I wouldn't say you're an underachiever. I think everyone has strengths and weaknesses. And you can't... You, know, you, you can't put everyone into the same category. So my steel axe is finished. We'll upgrade the pickaxe. That's no problem, Veronica. But thanks for dropping in nonetheless. It's always nice to see fresh fresh faces. What time is it actually? Oh, it's quarter to, quarter to eleven over here. So I've another a good hour and fifteen minutes left in the stream. So we we have a we have a ways to go. So let's upgrade to the steel pickaxe. And what's great about the steel pickaxe is that only two swings and you can destroy a regular node in the skull cavern. It's actually two swings with a gold pickaxe as well, but you, you need the Iridium pickaxe then to one-shot the regular nodes. So with the steel pickaxe, we could potentially start a Skull Cavern run. Uh, but I suppose you kind of want to be going in there with a few bombs as well. And one or two staircases. Ooh, a warp sword into the fire. That's really nice. Half twelve. Can we catch an octopus? I know it's a morning fish and it goes away after a while. I think you have until two o'clock to catch one. You're on vacation. Slovakian mountains right now. Oh, I'm so jealous. <laughs> So you're going on you're going on a big adventure tomorrow. So that is the tilapia that we just got there. I think we need that for a fishing bundle. So we have that in the bag. Do we need that for a bundle? We do, we need it for the ocean fish bundle. You too, Veronica. Enjoy the rest of your vacation. Oh, the puppies are gone. The cat could water one or two random tiles and the dog would run around watering everything, plants and otherwise. Emptying the can before he finishes. <laughs> yeah. And that would be funny as well. So we got the tilapia. So we leave it there for the beach fishing. Travelling merchant is in town. I only have a thousand gold though. You know what? We'll pay her a visit anyway. She might have something really useful for us. Ooh, I thought I was going to get a trash can head there for a second. <laughs> Off to the travelling cart lady. Let's see what kind of wares she has. Starfruit, pumpkin. Ooh, a pumpkin suit. Plus two luck. Plus two defense. That's real nice. But we can't afford it. A battery pack. A garlic. Can we get garlic in year one? Does anyone know if we can access garlic in year one?
Well, I won't be getting the ginger ale in year one, so it doesn't really matter anyway. Yeah, we leave it. We just get the rare seeds. We're not available from Pierre. That's okay because we won't be getting into ginger ale this year anyway because we need the uh, the cabbage. I did get a garlic out. A garlic was it a garlic seed or a garlic? A garlic seed out of a skull cavern treasure chest once. So now that we have our steel axe, we can also uh, we can also get the big logs on the farm as well. Oh, I completed the quest. Oh, it, it was to kill ten green slimes. <laughs> you see, it's because you you progress through the mines so quickly. Normally, I don't get to kill ten green slimes because. You know, before you know it, you're in the middle sections and you're fighting, you're fighting the blue slimes. I need, oh, I need a Dorota. Dorota. I can probably fish one up here if I'm lucky. I should make I should make more bait for my fishing rod to increase the bite rate. I would eat that chub for energy because they don't sell for much, so better better to use them uh, as energy. Is this another chub that we have here? Oh no! Oh, it's a new fish! A rainbow trout! Okay. I'm not a great cook, Vince, to be honest with you. I'm a, I'm a horrendous cook. My wife does cooking in this house. I try to cook sometimes on the rare occasion. Um. My, my cooking skills aren't great. <laughs> now I can cook, I can cook basic dinners. You know, I, I can put a chicken in the oven. I can... Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> I can make, actually I can make spaghetti bolognese. And I'm proud of the spaghetti bolognese that I make. That's it, read really, the um but it's something like a not point one percent chance or something that they'll spawn a prismatic shard. You know, I'm at a farm once read. And I all I all that was in the farm was uh, was fish pants with rainbow trouts and I wanted to see I think I made I made a video actually and I slept every single day, woke up and it, I say it took me a month before one fish pond out of 50 or 60 fish ponds, but probably more fish ponds. The farm was actually filled up to the top of fish ponds. It took almost a month for just one of those fish ponds to generate a prismatic shard. That's how that's how rare it is. Love a good spag ball. Yeah. Oh, Emma, I was in. Uh, we went to a restaurant last week. And normally when we go to this restaurant, I normally get a medium rare steak. Uh, sometimes, if I'm in a certain mood, I, I'll end up getting a curry instead. 
But I saw that they had spaghetti bolognese on the menu. So I said, you know what? I'll try it. And it was one of the nicest spaghetti bolognese's I ever had. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Zero. <laughs> Just reminded me about my energy there. Well, I have a nice chub that I can eat for that. After reading Voice's comment there now, I, I'm, I'm kind of getting hungry again, but it's it's way too late here for food, so I'm just going to have to wait until tomorrow morning. <laughs> do, you know, do you know what I used to love back in the day when I used to go out with my friends? Um, you know, you'd come home 2 o'clock in the morning after a nightclub. I always used to love a, a good, nice burger. You know, like one of those... Uh, double bacon cheeseburgers you know at two o'clock in the morning but i mean you'd be starving especially if you're up on the dance floor dancing and stuff you know you'd be you'd be mad for a burger i have the trash but here's the here's the thing right i'm saving up all my trash at the moment because i'm going to make a recycling machine soon and there's a chance, a small chance, that this soggy newspaper can be converted into a piece of cloth. So I'm tr trying to hold on to the trash. But you know what? I might just throw away... I'll throw away the, the, the seaweed. Yeah, Abby, cheesy chips. <laughs> Ooh, garlic sauce. I should make a food channel instead. I'm packing in Stargy Valley. Let's, let, let's, let's make a food channel. <laughs> so this fish I'm trying to get, this Dorota, is super rare. Um, well, I have all summer to get it, so there's no panic. There's absolutely no rush. Two days for the steel pickaxe. There is a lot of trees, a lot of trees on my farm that I that I need to start cutting away. Here we go. So what can I sell? Oh, I have that one. Let me just double check the tilapia. Oh, I don't. Throw it in there. There we go. Do I need that? Oh, nice. I need the fiddlehead fern for the chef's bundle, so we'll put that in there as well. Oh, what's this? A shadow dagger. Okay. So I will take that out, and I will take that, and I'm just going to put them over here. Uh, when this when this starts to fill up, I'll I'll empty it. So I'll give a load of things into Gunther, and I'll put some things into the community center. I think I have enough energy for one tree. Let's do, let's do one tree.
This is what happens now when you leave too many stumps. <laughs> So much easier to cut down trees with a steel axe. I put those mahogany seeds in there as well. Hi Murtur, how are you? Thanks for dropping in. Re, you're saying the, des the description on the shadow dagger. We must read the description, Ree, and see what it's about. <laughs> oh, so, so Vince, I was saying... I was saying to everyone earlier on when the stream first started... That I'll be releasing a video on Sunday. And it's going to be a challenge video. And it's going out to all the Stardew Valley content creators. So if you have time, watch the, give the video a watch. And see if you can do the challenge that I have set. I'm not going to tell you what the challenge is now or what the video is about, um, but it's but it's fun, and it won't it shouldn't take up a huge amount of time. <laughs> and what I've also said was, and I'll also say it in the intro to the video, that when you've done the challenge and you know when you've uploaded your video to YouTube, if you want, you can put the link to your video into the comment section in my video so basically everyone can check out other people's videos to see you know how well we all do the challenge <laughs> so it's just um it'll be fun to see Oh no, I can sell that one. Oh. Oh, I have to water these crops again. It just hurts my soul, you know, to, to water in this game. <laughs> you know, I just, I'm thinking about <laughs> every time I play co-op with my wife. <laughs> My poor wife always ends up being the person that has to water all the crops. <laughs> oh. But I did say, I did say that the next time we play co-op, she, uh, I'll do the watering and she can go off, she can go off into the mines and, you know, get all the mats with the sprinklers. <laughs> the next time we play co-op. And we are going to do a 100 day co-op challenge soon. Because we've been talking about it now for a couple of weeks. Yeah, I feel the pain now. <laughs> it's painful. We've been talking about a co-op challenge now for a couple of weeks. So we, we it's just a matter of starting it. Because once we start it, we keep going till we finish it. You know, so it's just one of those things. The only thing is that um, editing a co-op video is a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> Okay, so the energy. So, so the energy is in a bad way at the moment. But luckily for us, we have got mushrooms. Which is pretty nice. Right, there we go. <laughs> Thankfully in real life we don't have to do much water because we get a lot of rain over here. So, you know, it's... It's rare, to be honest, when you see someone out with a hose or something watering, you know, watering things in their garden. Ooh, I got forgeables. Ah, 
and we got the sunflower. So let's put the sunflower in there. That's the dye bundle. Another warp totem to the beach. What is up? What is up with this game? When it comes to um, I'm getting rainy days and I'm getting warp totems a lot. It's like what you said, Bri. I think I just got a good seed, and it'll be an even better seed if I get a rainy day in the next few days, or a few rainy days in a row. One day left for the steel pickaxe. It was a joke. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> How much does the totem sell for? It only says for 20 gold. Okay. Oh, we need more for exotic foraging. So we put that in there. Okay, so here is what we're going to do. I'm going to grab this chocolate cake, and I have my axe, and we are going to go to absolute town on wood there. Oh, was it just one crap? I think we're good. I'd be lost without your your eyes, Ree. You saved me on so many things over the past few streams. <laughs> Do you remember the green bean last week? There's still one. No, I think I, I, think I got them all. <laughs> Are you guys messing with me? <laughs> I'm going to get all this lovely hardwood. The poor... <laughs> the poor neglected bean. <laughs> You know what? It grew into it grew into a lovely big bean at the end, didn't it? A lovely beautiful bean. That's it, bits and bobbins. No nobody will forget the green bean after what transpired uh, last week. You know what? I'm just I'm just gonna get these stumps because they're getting in the way and there's just way too many stumps. At the moment. Aleph, you're saying there's still one on the right. I will I'm gonna I'll double check in a second, but I'm pretty sure I got them all. I, I, see, I think it's a texture pack. It makes it makes certain things harder to see. Or maybe maybe I'm just getting old and my vision isn't what it isn't what it used to be. trees. I'm 
make life a little bit easier for myself, and I'll just put that axe there. I am 99.9% .9 sure I have watered all these crops. So hopefully I'll get a foraging level out of this now and I'm finished. And that will be foraging level 6. And when we get foraging level 7, we will be able to make lovely tree fertilizer. And we can then think about, you know, making our lovely tree farms. And putting tappers on the trees. A lot of fiber over there. Let's make our way over to that if we can get over there. The energy is uh, is suffering again. will I do for energy? Have I went into the mushroom cave yet today? I have. I got the mushrooms. I might have something else. Pepper poppers. Plus, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that because that's plus two farming. Um, don't really see it. Okay. Ooh, nice! I have one in there. I'll just take a purple mushroom. I'll take another purple mushroom. They're fairly common anyway. The old purple mushrooms, especially if you're, uh, you know, going into the skull cavern or the regular, the regular mines a lot. I suppose it's necessary. So what I'm probably going to do, if I need space later, all this debris on the ground, you know, these bits of wood and bits of stone, I'll just I'll just put down a few bombs, and it'll, and it'll get rid of all that very quickly. It's, instead of using up valuable energy on it. I 
I will... I'll just get that one as well. We could even make some tea saplings. Sell those, get loads of money, buy salads into the Skull Cavern and start farming some Iridium more to get even more money. Right, let's see what we have. What do we got? We have 643 wood. We only have 139 fiber, but we have 50 spring seeds. So, 25 tea saplings, 500 gold a pop. So that gave me quite a bit of gold. For tomorrow, to spend on stuff. To spend on nice upgrades. I'll do one more tree, because I have energy. Thanks for coming, Abby. Or Abby. And I hope you have a great week. These saplings have to be... One of the most overpowered things in the game. Because you can get them so early. And they're so easy to make. If you, if you know how to farm the mats, if, if you know how to farm wood, and if you know where all the fibre is, you know, and if you get lucky with the barge bills, or, or not even lucky with the barge bills, if you, if you take the time every few days to just scour the map for barge bills, you can amass a, a, a crazy amount of gold in spring. And it's so easy then to just go into summer with starfruit if you wanted to go that way. So it's one o'clock. There's surely one more tree left in me. Maybe two trees. One, one more tree. Okay, I'm not going to get too greedy and I'm going to go to bed just in case because I don't want to pass out. <laughs> Right, there we go. So we got level 6 foraging, so we can make the lightning rod, which is nice, especially if we want battery packs. We are good to go for the um, the wild seas and fall. And we can make the warp totem to the beach. Which is something I never, ever make. But I will have to make it eventually to get the perfection achievement. So a nice 12,500 gold there for tea saplings. We won't say no to that. <laughs> and my steel pickaxe is ready. So. Let's water the crops. Get our steel pickaxe. Buy some salads. And we could always just dip our feet in the skull in the skull cavern. It doesn't have to be a serious run. We could just go in, you know, go down a few floors. Maybe we get lucky. You know, we get a treasure room. Maybe we get a prismatic shard. Who knows? So we got rain tomorrow, which is good. Feeling a little lucky today. Okay. So we can set ourselves up. So we can get some Omni Geo so we can purchase some warp totems to the desert. And so because it's raining tomorrow, what we can do is we can wake up and we can teleport straight over. And we can just make the day out of it.
So I think our days of using the watering can um, are numbered. So we're going to get level 6 farming very soon. And I can just bop down some sprinklers. Which means I can do a whole lot more with my days and I'll have a lot more energy to do stuff. But I suppose this has to be done. Because we need a way to make lots of money. the watering can should I upgrade the watering can well there's two days left on the melons but there's yeah I'm not going to get level 6 farming from harvesting a few melons I could upgrade it it only costs 2000 gold after all and I don't need copper bars to make quality sprinklers. If I... You know what? I'll take your advisory. I'll upgrade the watering can to the copper watering can. Yes. That's what we do. We have copper bars in here? We don't. I'll take those up with me. I'll put the beach totem in there for now. Right, let's go to the mines, grab some copper bars, and then go to Clint. And we'll get our steel pickaxe. Exactly 5 copper bars, nice. And as we can see, I've got 34 gold bars, 23 iron bars, and I have more refined quartz. So I'm in a position to, to really bang out the quality sprinklers once we get there. So there's our steel pickaxe. Yeah, you're right, Triard. We... We'll, t we'll make full use of the rain and we will upgrade this watering can just to make lives for ourselves a little bit easier. What time is it? 11 o'clock. You know what? We'll hang around and we'll go into bus. Okay, change of plan. Let's go see what the train has for us. Sometimes the train can drop some nice stuff. And it, it is a it is a rare enough event. Ooh, nice some coal. Oh, nice! A good few geodes. Oh, I can't actually go in there and sit on that. <laughs> Jeez, this is a great trade. Ooh, the super rare leprechaun shoes. It dropped the super rare leprechaun shoes. 
plus two defense, plus one immunity. I mean, it's not the greatest shoe, but it is one of the coolest shoes. I've never gotten that much stuff from a train ever. I'm getting great luck today. Oh, it's Abigail. Abigail doesn't like that it's summer. <laughs> So I'm, I'm not going to get rid of the leprechaun shoes because um, they're so cool. I'm going to store them away in a chest and I might reskin them later on because they're really cool shoes. And you know leprechauns are associated with luck. Did I go into the... Did I go into the, uh, the nope. I know Reem, really, after getting super lucky. We'll even pet the cat because we're in, we're in great form today. <laughs> right. Let's see. Okay. I can put that cold there for now. I'll put the leprechaun shoes in there along with our super rare garbage hat. So we have we have two rare items there at the moment. Sell those. Grapes in there for now. Let's go to Gus and purchase some salads and we'll set ourselves up. The f actually, the first thing I'm going to do. Yeah, I should do that now actually before Pam goes away. I'm going to go to the desert first and I'm going to get a desert warp totem. Um, do I have Omni Geodes? I do. Omni Geodes. You know what? I'll, I'll get that stuff now as well. It's Tuesday, so she won't have staircases. Or he won't have staircases for me. Yeah, I'll get that stuff now. I'll get the Desert Warp Totem, and I will get the Spicy Eels. Just so we can have a full day in there. Oh, we, we're not getting clean to open geodes. We're going to trade in our geodes for uh, warp totems. Ooh, I'm going to get all this cactus fruit. I actually need that too for a bundle. Uh, the exotic foraging bundle. So, that is two desert warp totems. And three spicy eels. What does she sell on a Tuesday? Oh, on a Tuesday you can get fiber if you trade in stone. Unfortunately, it's one fiber to five stone, so it's a little bit of a raw deal, but if you're really, really stuck, you could consider it. So with our first prismatic shard, when we do get one, we'll just we'll get the galaxy sword, and we'll give the second one then to Gunther, and we'll we'll keep the rest then for magic rock candies and things like that because you can get a magic rock candy on, I think it's Sunday. Yeah, Sunday you get magic rock candy for three prismatic shards, and that may seem like a lot, but if if you found the skull cavern a lot you end up with loads of prismatic shards, you know, so you're waiting for Sunday to come around to get to get the next magic rock candy. So we're gonna to go to Gus now. And we're gonna buy salads off him because it's it's a nice healing food. And we don't have access to any other things at the moment really. I will keep the cactus fruit for additional healing. 
Hello, Gus. What have you got for us today? So you have your salad for 220 gold. Ooh, he has the complete breakfast. Nah, well, uh, we, we just won't bother with it. But we will get salads. I'll just get 50. If I can afford 50. Yeah. 50 salads. So now what we are going to do... Yeah, Alex does love them and they are, they are an absolute pain. It's probably one of the most challenging things to make, the complete breakfast, because what you need for it is, is it eggs and an omelette? And other hash browns, you need hash browns as well. You need, you need a few things for it. I can make regular bombs and I can make cherry bombs. Can I make mega bombs? I can't. Iron ore and coal, copper ore and coal. I feed. Okay, I don't have a whole lot of iron ore. I'll bring the coal with me though. And I'll bring the copper. Let's make some cherry bombs. They're just for the mummies. If the mummies start cornering me and I don't have anywhere to go, I'll, I'll just take out a cherry bomb and. Wipe them out. <laughs> Better take that sap and sell it. I would take that bug meat. Let's convert it into bait. So the Skull Cavern is a self-sufficient cave. I, I will get ores when I'm down there so I can make more bombs. So I'm not too worried about that. Hi Carl, how are you? Thanks for jumping on in. It's the first time you can watch the, the live stream due to the time zone. What time are you over there? So it is... Ooh, it's half eleven here at the moment. At night. So it's it's getting late. But we are going to do a Skull Cavern run tomorrow. So I want to get one Skull Cavern run in at least before I, before I end the stream. Exotic foraging. Okay, let's have a look at our little crate here. So I have a coconut. I will put the cactus fruit in there as well. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, it's a pity tomorrow wasn't Thursday because I could have traded in jades for staircases. Oh, well, what can you do? What can you do? I will take those... Yeah, I'll take the copper ores with me because I can make more cherry bombs if I need them. And I'll take the coal with me as well, just in case. I will leave everything else. Oh, Ree, you said read the description of the shadow dagger. When you hold the blade to your ear, you can hear a thousand souls shrieking. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Bye Bits and Bobbins, thanks for coming, and I hope you have a good night. Right, things I won't need for the Skull Cavern. I won't need the axe. I won't need the fiberglass rod, or that. Right, I think that's the best setup I can have for now, going into the Skull Cavern. Um, so I'll cut down a few more trees, I'll go to sleep, and then we will go to the Skull Cavern. And hopefully, hopefully tomorrow will be a good luck day. If it's not a good luck day, if it's a terrible luck day, we're still going to go to the Skull Cavern. Because 
Believe it or not, I have done amazingly well in Skull Cavern on, on bad luck days. You, you can still do well in there if luck isn't on your side. It's, it's not the end of the world. The main thing is that we have plenty of healable food. So if there is loads of enemies in there, it's not the end of the world. We can just heal through it. The weapon we have is a steel falchion. It's not a bad weapon. It's a good weapon. Main Crawford, funny me. <laughs> hey, how are you? Thanks for popping into the stream. How is your day going? How is your week going? I just realized that I have a lot of sack. I'm going to sell that. What else do I have here? Because this chest is, is filling up with stuff. Okay. Okay. 7.38pm over here. You watched the videos over the weekend after work. Cool. So, how much money? We didn't make a whole lot of money today, but in all fairness, we, you know, we didn't, um... It's not like we spent a whole day fishing or anything like that. We still made 2,000 gold, though. So, there's one big problem, and I just realized it now. And that is, I don't have the big... I don't have the, the, the deluxe backpack. And that is going to... That is going to hurt big time because there's a lot of stuff you there's a lot of stuff you get in the skull cavern, and I don't have the third inventory slots unlocked. Um, luck will not be on your side today. You know what? I don't care. I'm going. I, I, I'm I'm tired of fishing and cutting down trees. I need a skull cavern run to reinvigorate myself. <laughs> so we are going to the skull cavern. We won't let we won't let luck dictate our every move we are going to go into the skull cavern we are going to get a prismatic shard and we are going to have a great time isn't that right Mr. Serpent so I'm going to get a lucky ring out of this container no <laughs> There's a lot of ores in this level. Let's make a few bombs. I'm gonna break this open because if I accumulate lots of stone, I can make staircases. And luck really isn't on our side today. <laughs> but you know what? It's a change of pace. You like the chill music despite the intensity of the Skull Caverns. Yeah, it can it can be quite intense sometimes, the skull caverns. Ooh, I forgot to take my buff food. I better take that. Because the extra look will make all the difference. Like, I hear the sound of serpents coming. Hmm. 
So it probably isn't going to be the most lucrative Skull Cavern run, but I think it's important that we that we wet our feet regardless and just get in here and start plugging away at it. If uh, the mummies can drop a cloth, then once we pick up the cloth, Emily will visit us and she she says that we we'll be able to use her her sewing machine, which is nice. Level up, nice. We, uh, we will get level ups inside here, that's for sure. We will get combat XP and we will get mining XP. And plenty of it. do we have? Well, we can make a couple of bombs anyway. So make a few bombs. Make more cherry bombs. A, a good place for the bomb. I'll just put a bomb here. How unfortunate. Ooh, very nice. So... The incentive for today is to make it down past floor 25. If we can make it past floor 25, Mr. Key will send us 10,000 gold in the um, in the mail. Oh, the sneaky ghost. If I see the iron ores, I'll, I'll prioritize it so I can so I can make bombs. Ooh, a hole! Nice. Please be a good hole. Ooh, eight levels. That is not bad. Oh, fabulous tree serpents. <laughs> Ooh, watch out. Serpents are going to get me. Ooh, he dropped a bomb. Thank you, Mr. Serpent. Ooh, there's a lot of crates over there, so let's go get those crates. I just want the crates, Mr. Serpent. And it's begun. What? I suppose I'd like get rid of. I get rid of the slime. Ooh, an immunity band. But I like my small magnet rings. Immunity is important, though. Okay. I want that ruby as well. Something that's rare. I, I, yeah, that, that's better. Oh, 
Okay. Treasure room. What are we gonna get? Maybe it's an auto pleasure. Oh, it, oh, it's, it's a blue cowboy hat. <laughs> it's a hat, though. Ooh, what'll I do? Will we keep the blue cowboy hat, or will I just put it in the tra No, you know what? I'll keep it. I can have a little collection of cowboy hats um, when I get home. The only thing is now is that not having the third inventory slots is really hurting me because I don't know what to get rid of. I mean, I suppose I could get rid of the hardwood because it's only three, but... Yeah. Quartz is very, very common, but because it's so common, I'm going to pick it up a lot. I'll get rid of the hardwood. Yeah. That's what I'll do. You, mommy. You know what? I think I'm good for the 25 levels. Because I just need 5 more levels and I'm going to get that 10,000 gold off key. You read my, med you read my mind, Rick. <laughs> just as I said it, you typed it. I suppose we'll use a bomb. levels. We just need one more level now and we're good. There we go. So that is 10,000 gold in the bag for us. I was looking at the pepper rex I, I was looking at it and i was telling myself should i go fight it or not but i said i wouldn't at the moment because we'd have plenty more op opportunities to get those and that iridium crab is just it's just beating me up big time <laughs> So we'll take one more spicy eel for today. There we go. Ooh, crab cakes, that's nice. And there's no room for iridium ore in my bag. What will I get rid of for iridium ore? What do we do? Oh, 
Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the topaz. Run, little crab! <laughs> Run away! Oh, bother. You know what? Oh, no, but I like the hat. Ooh, I have an idea. There we go. That's right, Tryhar. They can drop cabbage seeds, but apparently it is it's extremely slim that they would uh, that they would drop some. Super rare. No dino eggs, unfortunately. You know, it's so satisfying when you get the bug killer enchantment and you can just one-shot those bugs. It's, it's just so nice. Oh no, that's a sin. I couldn't possibly get rid of the, the garbage. It's too rare. Even if I had two or three of them, it's, 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 it's much too rare to throw away. If I was to throw any hat away, it would be the cowboy hat because the cowboy hats are really common. <laughs> and that's how you do it. <laughs> Yeah, they made, they made a nice sound when they all died, didn't they, Tryhard? <laughs> they did. Oh, yeah, that's seen a whole lot of iridium yet and it's because we i feel like when you get when you get down into floor 50 once you go beyond floor 50 the game starts throwing iridium nodes at you you know every so often Ooh, 
get a hole. Eight levels. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. What should I, I, I'm thinking, will I sell the diamonds? Or should I trade them in for triple shot expressos? You know, for the speed buff. Because I'm kind of in two minds about it. one trade one we could Ooh. I better not take chances because those serpents can make very short work of me okay Hi Lindsay, how are you? How, how has your week been? Nice one, good week. So we made it down to floor 46-ish. It's not bad for the first attempt, I don't think. Um, I feel like if I got a lucky day, any sort of a lucky day, I would have done better. And we would have got down past 450 and we would have got a lot more Iridium Ore. Ooh, and it is 12 o'clock. So I think it was a nice way to finish the old stream. So for those of you who have just come along, the stream is over. Because <laughs> we do uh, we do nine o'clock to midnight. Where's my stream labs? There we go. So that is basically it for tonight's live stream. I hope you all enjoyed it. And as per usual, the next live stream will be next Friday. And we'll just continue on from... We'll just continue on from this file. With our perfection run. And we'll we'll do some more Skull Cavern too. But the next time we might wait until a lucky day. Um, before we do the Skull Cavern. So I appreciate you as always. Thanks a lot for dropping by. Um... We have a video coming out Sunday. It is a surprise video. I hope to have it done by Sunday. I think I will have it done by Sunday. Um, I'll do a lot of work on it tomorrow. Uh, I suppose we can take it from there. So I hope you all have a good night. I hope you all have a great week. Enjoy your weekend. And I will see you all in the next stream.
Have a good one. Bye for now.